Hello all. Let us discuss few more reactions of organonickel reagents. Now in the earlier uh, video we had discussed about the alkene alkyne oligomerization. Now in this video uh, I shall brief you on few coupling reactions that is reactions which involves CC bond formation. Alright, now uh, one of the reagents which affects coupling reaction is nickel carbonyl. There are different various reag nickel reagents which help us in coupling reactions. One of them is uh, nickel tetracarbonyl or nickel carbonyl. Now, it affects the coupling of allylic halides and uh, this reaction proceeds in the presence of very polar solvents like DMF or DMSO. Alright. Now, one example is this one. See, for, uh, here uh, we are taking the two allyl halides and we are uh, re uh, reacting it with tetracarbonyl nickel, here nickel tetracarbonyl, two moles, and you get a pi allyl complex. Okay, pi, regarding pi allyl complex, I had, uh, uh, we had discussed in the first video related to nickel organonickel reagents. You can just view that. Okay. Now, it is this uh, pi allyl complex which later on takes up the reaction. Okay. That is another allyl halide gets added up to this pi allyl complex. Now, variety of halides. It will not be allyl halide. It can be alkyl, aryl halide, etc. It can be uh, reacted with this pi allyl complex. Now here you see this is the pi allyl complex here. Here you have the uh, vinyl halide. Okay. So these two react together. So here you can see this is the vinyl bromide part CH2C double bond CH and this one CH2CH double bond CH2. This is the pi uh, allyl uh, halide part. So, you get a uh, yield of 70% for this reaction. So, uh, this uh, pi allyl complex is formed in situ, okay, within the reaction or during the reaction. So, the intermediate compound formed is pi allyl complex, okay. In case of a coupling reaction, which we are, where we are using nickel tetra carbonate. Another reaction. Uh, you have the pi allyl complex here and you have the cyclohexylene uh, derivative halide here, okay, iodide and they react together. Okay, so uh, this uh, is a uh, reaction of uh, allyl halides with nickel tetracarbonate to form coupled products. Now, we can even carry out intramolecular cyclization. Okay, uh, to prepare large rings, we can use this uh, nickel tetracarbonyl using this allylic halide. When you say this allylic halide, this, there will be two allyl system within the molecule. In such cases, we can carry out intramolecular cyclization. Now, here you can see here, you have one allyl system over here and another allyl system over here. Here, this is a long chain, uh, 12 carbon uh, chain is here. Okay, and uh, you treat this uh, long chain uh, compound with nickel tetracarbonyl, you get this ring system. Okay, now uh, uh, these two, the, this allyl system and this allyl system, they uh, couple or they undergo intramolecular cyclization. Now you can change this particular area, that is the CHCS2 well times CH. This particular uh, chain of the bisalyl system can be uh, changed and we get different products. See here, this is the bisalyl system. So here we have changed this, this group, this group, see here. Okay, and then you get this heteronuclear uh, compound. Okay, or heteroatomic uh, cyclic, cyclic compound. So, uh, that is it. You, you can change the uh, groups attached to the bisal, I mean, in the bisalyl system, and then you can prepare variety of large ring 
compounds. Now, this can be used for the preparation of uh, our uh, uh, PTC phase transfer carry crown needles. You can prepare crown needles using this method. Okay, so that's a synthetic application or uh, 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 laboratory application of use of uh, nickel tetracarbonyl. Now, uh, instead of nickel tetracarbonyl, we can use this one, nickel 1,5-cycloctodiene complex. Okay, we have said that this is less toxic. Nickel tetracarbonyl is toxic, while nickel uh, cycloctodiene complex is uh, less toxic. So, we can use this also. This is effective in coupling allylic alkenyl and aryl halides. Hope you remember the structure of a nice very twice. Now, here you have the alkene. You are treating it with the cycloctodiene complex and you get the uh, coupled product. So, this is uh, homocoupling, the same compound coupling itself. Okay, so it is the halide group which has been removed. So, here this part. Okay, so this is a trans alkene, you get a trans product. Fine, alright, so that you be careful. You get used trans alkene, you get trans product. Another example here you have aryl compound, aryl halide. You treat it with NiCOD twice, you get the biaryl compound. Okay, so uh, this is uh, much more, uh, I mean, preferred. Nickel uh, cycloctodiene is more preferred because it is less toxic. Now, another two, other two reagents of nickel which can be used for coupling reactions are tetrakis triphenyl phosphine nickel and dichloro 1 2 bis diphenyl phosphenoethane nickel. Tetrakis uh, triphenyl phosphine nickel is NIPPH3 four times and dichloro 1 2 bis diphenyl phosphenoethane nickel is Ni. BPPE Cl2. This is the diphenyl phosphenoethane moiety. Okay. Now these two also help us in coupling reactions, particularly aryl halides. Okay, coupling of aryl halides. See here you have one uh, the aryl halide here, and uh, you have the reagent. See here you're using nickel chloride, triphenyl phosphine, etc. Separately this. Uh, tetrakis triphenyl phosphine nickel is formed within the reaction or in situ and the two aryl groups gets uh, coupled. We are using zinc here. Zinc uh, is uh, used as a reductant for the in situ regeneration of the active nickel zero complex species. So, the zinc is a reductant. In the early cases, we haven't used zinc. Okay. Another example we are using for triflates. Here this was for halides, this is triflates, even triflates for use of, I mean, triflates also can be uh, coupled to get higher aryl complex, by aryl compounds. Okay, here also you are using zinc as a reductant. Alright, now uh, another uh, reaction wherein you are using NIDPPE is uh, between an aryl compound and an alkyl halide, an aryl halide and an alkyl halide. See if you have two halides here, both the halides are uh, displaced and the aryl halide, uh, sorry, alkyl halide gets coupled to the aryl group. So long chain of al long alkyl groups can be attached to the aryl compound, uh, aryl ring. Okay. Here you are using triphenyl phosphine uh, compound and here again similar one you get the uh, aryl group to which a long chain alkyne is, sorry alkene, sorry alkene, sorry, uh, alkyl group is attached. Here another one, this is, uh, see here, you have, you have a diaryl compound, uh, sorry dihalide aryl uh, compound and here you have diaryl alkyl compound. When you use these two, you get a, a medium ring uh, compound, okay, a fused ring system sort of. So, this is a 12 member ring attached to the aryl group, group compound, a phenyl ring. So, to get such a, a 
fused ring system, you have to use a bihalide compound and a dihalide alkyl compound. But the yield is very low when compared to the other one. Here you get only 18% yield. But still, if you want to synthesize such a compound, a large ring fused to the aryl ring, you can go for this. Okay, just remember, whatever, whatever is the size of the ring you need, take that alkyl group and to that you attach uh, halogen. Okay, it must be a dihalide compound. <coughs> using Grignard reagent in all these cases. <coughs> Another example is conjugate addition of alkyl or aryl iodides to conjugated carbonyl compounds. Now this is a bit uh, a difficult reaction otherwise that is addition of alkyl or aryl group to conjugated carbonyl compounds. Now one good example is methylation addition of methyl group. See here you have this Unsatch, alpha beta unsaturated carbon in the compound here, conjugated system here. This is a uh, conjugated system also. See here, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, and a keto group. So, conjugated carbon in compound. We need to add a methyl group over here, okay, at this point of attachment of the uh, five membered ring and the six membered ring. Now, by using this method, nickel acetyl acetonate. Uh, this is the reagent which we are using, nickel acetyl acetonate, okay, N-I-A-C-A-C twice is, I repeat once more, nickel acetyl acetonate. Now, this will uh, help in methylation at this point. See here, the conjugation is lost, methyl group gets attached and you get a chiral carbon over here. Can you see here? Okay, so the methyl groups at, group attached uh, is attached here. Now, this reaction is otherwise not possible. This is a very good method to carry out this reaction. All right, so these are a few coupling reactions. And all, uh, nickel can also help us in the various other coupling reactions which we had discussed earlier, like Negishi, Hiyama, Kumada, Still, etc. Instead of the palladium system, we can use nickel system. Now, the advantage of using nickel system instead of palladium for cross-coupling reactions is nickel reacts more easily with aryl halides and sulfonates than palladium system. <coughs> All right. Now, one more reaction is with, with the reductive aldehyde and diene coupling. That is reaction between aldehyde and diene. So, here you have diene, you have the aldehyde. You are using nickel acetyl acetonate, okay, and the aldehyde gets attached to this carbon atom, okay. Can you see here the terminal carbon atom? See, and the attachment is in such a way that the substituent on the terminal uh, alkyl and the uh, alcohol, which is formed when the aldehyde is reacting, will be in transposition. Okay, so the, uh, this, this is the aldehyde moiety and this is our dialkene, diene group. Okay, another example you can see here. Now here you, this is an intramolecular cyclization reaction. See you have the aldehyde here, you have the diene here. Alright, now this is the, uh, this, this particular carbon can be considered as the uh, substituted diene and this aldehyde goes and reacts over here. See? So, we can say that the uh, uh, reaction happens when the diene is substituted with the bulky group here on that carbon. See, and see here, this substituent on the alkene uh, and diene and I mean double bonded carbon and this OH, they are in transform. Okay, so nickel acetyl acetonate helps in this type of coupling, aldehyde and diene coupling. Okay, so it must be a diene and an aldehyde must be present. And if the, both the diene and aldehyde are present in the same carbon, the same compound, we can carry out intramolecular cyclization also. So these are the few reactions which I wanted to discuss with you today. I uh, hope it was clear to you. If you have any more clarifications, please do ask me. 
Thank you.